The Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference closed its men's and women's, ba women's basketball tournaments tonight at the Sanford Pentagon in Sioux Falls. For the past decade, the NSIC has determined its championships on Heritage Court, which is marking a milestone in 2023. In tonight's Eye on Kettleland, Travis Fossey looks back at some of the Sanford Pentagon's most memorable moment, moments and how the venue has helped change the landscape of sports in Sioux Falls. The Sanford Pentagon is the cornerstone of the Sanford Sports Complex and it's celebrating its 10th anniversary in 2023. At the center of the Pentagon is Heritage Court and its 1950s style setting. It was a bold vision, and it was a bold vision by our leadership at the time to, to build it in that style, that manner, uh, and it was very purposeful. It's nice to see on camera, it's nice to see online, but when people walk through, they're really blown away of, of the little details of what this place really is. Steve Young is the president of Sanford Sports, a position he's held since 2020. It can host a, a youth event, it can host a, a major uh, college event, it can host a uh, a G League game with NBA standards. It can host a concert, an MMA event, all really within a week. It's a very versatile facility, and being able to have volleyball on the outer courts while you have basketball uh, in the main arena, it, it's just a, a testament to the flexibility and the planning that went into developing this building. Jesse Smith joined the Sanford Pentagon in 2014 and says the venue has hosted nearly 100 Division I athletic events since opening its doors. We've been able to build a reputation with the teams, uh, with the coaches, and it just takes time and it takes effort, and we've been, we've been rewarded with, with those efforts so far. We send a team to the Final Four, for example, and now they're recognized by college coaches and all the people there. Uh, they know these people by name, and, and hey, when are we going to get you to the Pentagon? Or more importantly now, they're asking, when can we get to the Pentagon? The number of star players to step onto this floor is staggering. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Jalen Suggs, Luca Garza. In fact, Suggs and Garza crossed paths in the biggest game ever played on this floor in 2020. Number one Gonzaga versus third ranked Iowa. It was pretty incredible to get that. It was unbelievable for us to be able to do that on CBS and then uh, to have the dividend of that of, of people wanting to come back more and more. That one really was, was what pushed us over the top. The first D1 game played on Heritage Court featured Wisconsin and St. John's in November 2013. Former Red Storm head coach Steve Lavin had this to say about the team's visit. It's as good a venue as, as, uh, as I've been to. Uh, the locker rooms, all the... Uh, you know, state-of-the-art bells and whistles, and you know, so from a design standpoint, it's uh, first-rate. A year later, Wichita State was the first nationally ranked team to take the floor in a win over Memphis. Everyone here is first class. We're very, very grateful and thankful that we had an opportunity to play in this game in this great arena on ESPN. Obviously, it's really nice, renovated. But it kind of had that Hoosiers feel to it as far as uh, you know, old time, being back in the 60s kind of feeling. The Pentagon is more than just a place for big time college basketball. It's the grind every day of the academy kids, our coaches, and, and the ability for us to help those kids have a transformation in their sport of, of choice. And the action extends beyond Heritage Court. You know, we got nine courts here for basketball. We got several more for volleyball that we can turn into a major tournament where you as a parent, if you're from another area, you can park once. You have a place to stay, you have a place to eat, you have a place to watch your kid. The success of the Pentagon has spurred growth throughout the campus. You got Iceplex, you got Match Point, you've got Power and Grace Gymnastics, we got a Blue Rock and a Great Shots now, and a clinic, a couple hotels. And it's still growing. We've got the Sanford Diamond, Sanford Crossing, and the Virtual Care Clinic all opening and being built right now as we speak. It really is uh, the cornerstone and the powerhouse of the sports complex. and. and the sheer number of people that have been able to um, come into this region and experience it um, really has helped drive the growth of the sports complex. As for the future of the Sanford Pentagon. I want to see the NBA come back here. I think that'd be really fun. I'd like to see the WNBA get here. I think that'd be incredible as well. It's hard to think about what else can we do, but I know our team's going to come up with something great. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Travis Fossey. And without naming names, Smith says a prominent team with a Hall of Fame coach will be making its first appearance at the Sanford Pentagon next season. Something to look forward to.